you guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today we are in the chicken coop and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that you can make a designated area for a dust bath. Do you want to know? Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So again, we are in the chicken coop and I'm going to make a quick and easy way to have a designated area for them to dust bathe. There's really no rhyme or reason. You can use a lot of different things. The main ones definitely is going to be dirt. You can also use some other type of product like a diatomaceous earth or a first Saturday lime product. You can also put in a few herbs to make them smell good. And it also says to use like a wood ash. I currently don't have wood ash. We are going to burn the wood that's in our fireplace. So I will be adding wood ash to it in the very near future. But so far I'm gonna put everything else in it. But at least I know with this, it's one designated area. I know it's clean. It has everything in it that they need to do their proper dust bath to get all the mites and all that stuff that may occur off and keep them nice and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I made this quick idea using a tire. You can use any other type of container that you would like to use, even like a small kid pool is another idea, anything like that, or just some designated area. You can put some cinder blocks or bricks around it just so you can make one designated area. So here's my idea with the tire. Okay, so my man got me this tire. It's a used tire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the tire out. I'm gonna dig down a little bit just so it can kind of be underground a hair put the dirt back in. I'm gonna mix in some of this diatomaceous earth, the food grade. And then I also bought this nesting box herbs that I'm gonna put in there too, um, just to mix a little bit in so they can smell good and do some good benefits for them. So let's get to making this dirt bath. Okay, so I ordered this online and it had the best reviews as far as peat moss goes. So I ordered this so we can add to the dust bath.
simple and easy. Now there's one designated area. I'm sure they're gonna dust bath probably everywhere in here, but at least there's one area that I know is nice and clean and ready for them. Again, very, very simple and easy. I will be adding the wood ash still to it as soon as we can burn the wood in the fire pit. But again, you don't need exact measurement, exact things, just some place for them to have a nice clean area for them to get in and bathe in it. Instead of bathing in water like we do, they bathe in dirt. So give them a nice clean area for them to do that in and you'll be fine. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. Comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. Your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. <laughs> so until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Crafty crew, out.